and today I'm going to be telling you how I passed Yusuko Bronze in with only one month of preparation. This is a contest called the Yus called Yusuko or the USA Computing Olympiad, in which you solve competitive programming problems and try to get as many test cases as possible. For each division, as long as you pass a certain number of test cases, you move to the next division. And once you're in platinum, the the United States, yes, the government, the United States, chooses four of their best competitors to participate in the IOI, the International Computing Olympiad. That is where different countries compete for the gold medal. So, this video will be telling you how to start competitive programming and how to press Yusuko Bronze. By the way, I'm sorry for not pushing out more content. As I said, I've been busy preparing for bronze. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Okay, back to bronze. How should, should I start with Yusuko? Well, one of the best resources is Yusako Guide, created by one of the finalists from the IOI. It is basically a competitive programming textbook that's been put online and geared towards use ago. I'd first suggest that you check out the general section, which is going to have some of the stuff in this video. And also, I'd suggest you use C++ as a language. Even though what people say, yes, it is a bit hard to learn, and the error messages are a bit iffy, but if you're serious about competitive programming, you're going to have to learn it anyway. But if you insist, Yusuko also allows you to use Java or Python, though they are much slower. And in recognition of this, Yusuko has given them twice the amount of time you can in C++. Now, after reading the general tips in Yusuko Guide, you should go to bronze. Now, this is where the real stuff starts and where you'll have to start coding. Other than the language you pick, you'll also have to pick an IDE. Now, there's a couple main ones, but the one that I would strongly suggest is Vim. Really, this doesn't matter too much, but essentially what Vim is, is it's a text-based editor in your terminal, which allows you to navigate and change your code without lifting a finger from, from your keyboard. Here, I'm just showing you a basic one. And if I press I, I can start inserting, right? So let's say hashtag include iostream go in main right i can go very quickly I can count hello world and all of this is being done without me lifting a finger from my keyboard which makes it very 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 um, quick and efficient now, what I've done, actually, is created some macros so that I can run it. And here you see, I have Hello World. If you really don't want to get used to this, the kind of navigation, I'd suggest you use Sublime Text. And both, and the download for Sublime Text will be in the description, as VI is, all, is already pre-installed on most machines. Now, back to the real practice. When practicing for Yusuko Bronze, how should I approach it? Well, first, as you do in any textbook, read the chapter and complete any interactive things they may want you to do. Like in Time Complexity, it has uh, some examples in code. See, in this case, I'm looking at the C++ version, because as I said, it's the best language. And if there's any problems 
which directly correlate to that concept, they will be linked at the bottom. Here, time complexity is a bit more general, but there are other ones like rectangle geometry and basic complete search, which do have a lot of problems that you can practice. Now, once you've read the problems and understood it, how should you go along approaching the problems? Well, first, you should do the easy problems to build your understanding. As you can see here, you can also see the mapping of which difficulty I have tried. First, I did a couple of easy problems, a couple of normal problems, and then over time, after I'd built done the easies and some normals for all of these sections, I went to the hard problems to start preparing for bronze. And for these contests, even though there may be some very hard problems, I'd suggest that you don't waste too much time doing them, as the hard problems will mostly prepare you for that. Now, let me show you how those problems look like. Here is square pasture, one of the bronze problems. As you can see, I have completed all the test cases, which it'll show here. It'll have a box with your runtime and memory and different icons for what their status is. T for timeout, X for wrong answer, and an exclamation mark for any runtime error. In this case, I got a star, which means they're all right. All of them will be problems with import format and examples shown, and they're all about Farmer John and his problematic cows. You can also see the editorials when you're confused. Now, I suggest doing these after you've spent a solid 30 minutes on the problem, because it's really good to try to do it yourself. If you have someone to consult who might be able to help you, then they are always a good research resource, but use to go editorials are always really great, and I really suggest that you use them. So now, once you've done a square pat once you've done all of the easy ones, you should start doing some normal ones. For your first pass, only do the easy and normals, as these are the only ones that will that are good at building your bottom understanding. Ad hoc problems are a bit different as they are just, uh, n they're nuanced problems which n with no real categories. And I suggest you do these while you're doing the second pass where you do the harder and a few very hard problems. Now, there you have it. When you're studying, when you're starting Yusuko, you want to read the chapters in Yusuko Guide, do the easy problems and normal problems in a first sweep, and then come around to do the harder problems. Hopefully, if you follow my advice quickly, correctly, you'll be able to get to bronze quickly and with flying colors. Again, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my video where I show you how to get from silver to gold. But until then, try to get to silver, my friends. Bye.